Hi everyone and welcome to Favorite Favors. This is Kelly. I am here to show you um, the It's a Girl Matchbook Mini Album. The idea came from Laura from Following the Paper Trail. I'm sure that you've probably seen her YouTube videos or her Ustream. Um, and I'm here just to show you the, the materials that I use for, for making this, this uh, beautiful little matchbook album. Uh, so here we go. The butterfly uh, ribbon that you see, this little piece right here, how cute that is. Let's see if I can zoom in. Maybe not so much. <laughs> that actually came from Walmart. It's just a, a long piece of ribbon that I found at Walmart, and it came in green and purple and blue and pink, and um, so that's what I use. Um, the ribbon cording that holds it is just a, a sheer piece of ribbon, and that I, I found at the dollar store. Here it is. I keep my uh, my ribbon together like that on the spool. Uh, but there's the ribbon. And I don't know which dollar store I got it at. I was in New York at the time, and there you have it. Uh, the the roses on the album, the flowers, uh, the white roses and the leaves and um, the pacifier came from Trico. And I bought those at the 99 cent store. But these are the packages that it comes in. Uh, these The pacifiers come in 24 to a bag. Um, here are the roses, the white roses and the stems that I that I purchased. And the the flowers, um these little flowers, they came in a bag that I found at a ninety nine cent store. Um like it was a Ziploc bag that was filled with all different color flowers and um all different style flowers and it was just a nice big find and you know we love ninety nine cent store finds so that was it. The gemstones here and these little blings here um, came from actually an, an array of different places. Uh, these came from Sticko, these precious uh, finds from Sticko. I actually went on online to this to the EK Success website and looked for these exact stickers, but I didn't see them. The, uh, excuse me, the blings, but I didn't see them. So um, I'm sure that they they do have an array of other gemstones that you can, you know purchase, um, but this particular pack I didn't see online. The um, the letters here, uh, these are also from EK Success, but those, I get, again, I, I looked online and I did not see them, and here they are, so you can see what the pack looks like, uh, but I did not see them online. Uh, these are in hot pink, but if you find them, um, these cute little glitters, uh, forgive the reflection, uh, but, but if you see the, if you find them online anywhere in hot pink, please, please let me know. Uh, write a comment and let me know where you found them because I'm running out, <laughs> as you can see from my pack. Uh, let's see. The cardstock is from Nicole. Here's the pack that I that I purchased. This cardstock of 50 sheets. It comes in pink and blue and yellow and green and purple and that's just what I purchased. It was I think I got it at like Office Max um for something really, really inexpensive. The pattern paper here that you see is actually from K and Company. Um it's Marcella by K and Company. Here's the pack. It has a little ducky on it. Now this pack actually I purchased purchased it back I think in two thousand seven, two thousand eight. And I don't see it on their website, on the K and Company website. But here's all the paper, all these great, great, great styles and patterns and colors. We really like these. Unfortunately, I don't think that they're making this particular pack anymore. Um, but they are making uh, pre-assembled pages uh, with the same patterns. This is actually the Butterbean collection. Uh, Butterbean Baby Girl Paper Pad is what it says, and they're not making this pad anymore, but they are making pre-made pages with the same um, coordinating paper, um, that, so you can get it online. And that's actually six ninety nine on the Kane Company website. That's where I found it. Now on the inside is uh, you'll see all the different papers that I did use. That's the Kane Company paper. 
Um, this paper that this one is on, this little, see, she's such a cutie. She's a cutie. This is um, actually uh, by Kane Company. It's the Designer Mat Pad. See, there it is right there. Designer Mat Pad by Brenda Walton. Let's see if I can get a close up. Okay, so it may not be auto zooming. We'll have to work on that. Uh, but there it is. This is still um, on their website. They are still selling this. Uh, so you can get it. it uh, if you type in the code number, which is 626-133, it will come up, and it, it is for $3.99 on their website. And it comes in a, uh, actually, you know what? It comes in a lot of great styles. I don't know if you can really tell from from the position of the camera, but it really has a lot of great um, prints, um, flowers, and polka dots, and stripes, and plaids, and it's really, really cute, and I really liked it. And then the other papers that I used, let's see if I can find one. Those are all designer mat stacks. Um, here we go. I don't know if you can tell, this pink paper back here actually has little polka dots on it. It's kind of blurry. I'll have to auto zoom that. But it has little polka dots, and that actually came from that stack. That came from this stack right here. And I went online looking for it, and this, is, this particular stack of paper is no longer being manufactured. I could not find it anywhere, and it's not on their website. It's just, just been discontinued. So I may have to scan my paper so that I can use it again on another project since I'm all out of that. And the blings that you see here, this little blue one and this pearl and the green is from Marcella, also from Kane Company, uh, the adhesive rhinestones. But this, these particular colors, these shades are not being manufactured, but they do have other ones that come very, very close, like the gold here and the green and the, the, the blue. The, the pink is actually a pink. It's like a very hot fuchsia pink. And the pearl, I didn't see those, but the other ones are on another stack, and you can get them from them. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, these wonderful, wonderful stickers. Here we go. These really, really, really cute stickers. These are so cute. I really, really like those. Those are on the... Um, EK Success website. They're called Mini Romantic Flowers, and they are available. They're at like a dollar twenty-nine per pack. I thought that was not too bad of a deal. I think that's pretty cool. And the other stickers that I have, I've used. I'm just trying to remember which, which ones I used them on. Hmm. Well, you know what? When I find it, I'll, I'll show you. The, the they have other stickers here. They are, and I've used a couple of these stickers. And you know, let me move over here so you can see it better. Um, they've used I used those stickers on a couple of their cards. These are also on the EK Success website or the Sticko. If you go to Sticko, you can find them there too. These are a dollar twenty nine as well. The other pieces of um, stickers that I used were these Miss Elizabeths, um, these vellum uh, vellum alphabet script stickers. Unfortunately, Miss Elizabeth is no longer manufacturing anything, as I have called the company to find out, that they have discontinued the Miss Elizabeth line. So I will be scanning these and saving them and using them for future projects. What's great about scanning is that you can also um, print out the the fonts on vellum or uh, what I used before was the clear mailing labels. Because of the size, it can get a whole bunch of letters on there and words and um, whatever size that I'm looking for and then I can just um, adhere it to my project. And these stickers are by me and my big idea, these baby stickers, and these are no longer being manufactured. These are actually from 1999 and I have them and I have to scan those. Actually, I did scan them so that I could keep using the new mom and the baby girl. Um, and that's a couple other ones that I've used. So that's how I, I keep all of my stickers together. And then, let's see, and then the, the vellum quotes that I have. Like this little saying down here is is a, a verse is from Baby Divine. It's just one little verse. 
I can't, I don't think you can even see what it is, but it's one little verse. It's really cute. Um, it says, The little one so special grows within the warmth and comfort of my love. Such a gift of a baby's birth is one that I have always dreamed of. And that's the first verse of the, or the first stanza of the poem Baby Divine by Wendy Silva. And that one, um, uh, I, I, I don't even remember where I got that one. I think I got it on, off of eBay in a, in a collection, but um, that one I got there. And then this one, which is really, really cute, it says, A daughter is the happy memories of the past, the joyful moments of the present, and the hope and promise of the future. And this actually came from die cuts with the view from their uh, vellum quote stacks. And these are still online. They're still selling these, so we're happy about that. Yay! <laughs> and you'll see some of my po and some of the cards. Like there's a little bit of distressing on the so on the on the edges here, and I have it in just a few of my my cards. And here's another one in the purple. A little purple in the baby. Let me take the card out to show you the edge. These are actually. Pastel chalks, here we go. Here they are. Hey, say hello, pastel chalks. <laughs> These are my pastel chalks. Um, I use the pastel chalks because I don't have the ink the ink stampers that you guys all have and many of you use and so since I don't have them, um, I figure use what you got until you can get what you what you can get or what you need. And for me I have all these different colors and arrays and I just take the Q tips and you know rub against the, the chalk and just do what I need to do and to keep on moving. So it works for me for right now. And eventually I'll get the, the little ink stampers and have a great time. But until then, I'm using my pastels and having a great time. But there you have it. That's all that I have and that's all that I used for this cute little album. And so I'll be sending this off very soon. I'm just going to put the the baby stat information, the baby's name and the the date of birth and the length and the the um the weight and all that other good stuff that that'll be the baby stats. That's what I'm gonna put here. And then I'm gonna wrap it up and send it off and there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope the information was was helpful and um I'll put a link down below and uh to where I found everything that's still available and how much it is. And um, if any of you find it someplace else other than where I've listed it at, please let me know. Just leave a comment and let me know where it is, and I'll be ever so grateful, and I can let everybody else know. So thanks a lot. Thank you for for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.